Hey guys and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be doing an update on each of my reptiles so there's eight of them so prepare yourself for that as well as a big exciting update. So we'll start off down here with Maui because he's actually out so if you have leopard geckos you know that they tend to hide during the day and since it's the morning right now maybe that's why he's still out a little bit but he is full body basking now Maui there's not a ton to update on other than he's doing really well um he's almost if not as big as Diego um super active loves his food that's pretty much it for Maui Diego is obviously across from Maui. His is the only tank that actually has a live plant in it, although that aloe looks a little dry, it's a little curled over, but the only way I've been able to actually grow that in this tank is to put it in a pot. Um, it's I find arid tanks so difficult to grow things in. But anyway, Diego's doing well. He is still absolutely massive. Um, he does occasionally have his little armpit boobs that occur he's the only gecko of mine that gets those um but generally like every night i come to this room and he's sat waiting to either come out or like i'll open the door for a bit for him just you know to get a little fresh air in the tank because i always think it's probably nice for them to have the door open and he'll sit and watch me um but overall he's doing really really well next we've got minnie and you can kind of see her cryptic basking there I'd say her and Maui are the ones I see the most like out and about in the day getting a little bit of UV. And she likes that area because you can kind of sandwich yourself in there so you're nice and warm. She could hide completely if she wants to but she pops her face out. Now Minnie is 16, she'll be 17 in September and she is currently ovulating. Which is not great at this age because it takes so many of their like nutrients and resources. So um, she is a bit skinnier than everyone else um i'm trying to make sure she gets enough calcium and magnesium because i imagine at this age you know it's harder to replenish all of that um so she is showing her age a bit more um i cannot wait until she either reabsorbs the eggs or lays them so we can get over this part um i really honestly thought maybe at this age she'd be over it but clearly not other than that though um obviously because she has that dodgy eye i usually have to put a little bit of saline in it uh, basically it kind of dries out I think just because of how it's deformed she'll go to sleep during the day and it'll dry out and then she comes over to this rock at night gets a little saline in her eye and goes back so after all these years she's just learned her routine but that eye has been checked out by a vet and everything and they said honestly it's just something that happens um, on it, I think it's just like a slight fluctuation in temperature in the incubator that can cause something like that and they wouldn't remove the eye or anything like that because she's quite old so it's just a case of keeping it hydrated then we have gizmo's tank of course she is hiding away um she does come out at night and if i've got food she go chasing after the food um obviously she is 17 she'll be 18 in august so she is a lot older um obviously last year you may know i fed them pinkies frozen thawed pinkies that did not go down well with everyone but one of the reasons i did that was because of gizmo and i never wanted to show this photo because i think it really shows her age but i'll show it here just so people understand um she wasn't able to hold herself up very well like she could walk around but it was it it wasn't looking great but after talking to a few people with geckos of a similar age talking to a vet talking to an expert everyone recommended a pinky and my goodness it has transformed her life because now as i said she'll go running after food she um she hasn't ovulated this year which is fantastic so her weight is still great she has a gr like great form because obviously when animals age they can lose that kind of form and all of this and so i'm actually really happy i did it i know not everyone's going to agree with that but i think it's really helped her um and some people have suggested doing it once a year so maybe i will but i won't film it so don't worry he's asleep can you see him little rex oh he's so cute not so little Re oh hello not so little rex rex has got so big i think i measured the other day that his tail is now 19 and a half centimeters just his tail it's crazy he's doing fabulous he's actually getting an upgrade so that's the first of the exciting announcements uh he's getting a three by two by three foot vivarium so lots more room to move around in 
Um, look at him in there. That just hides how much, how long he is. He just keeps going and going. But he uh, is eating kind of every other day. His weight, he was gaining rapidly. Like once I switched to live snails, he was gaining weight so quickly. And now he's kind of stabilized at about 46, 47 grams. I'm hoping to finally hit 50 at some point. Um, obviously it takes three years for these guys to get fully grown. He's probably a little bit behind just because of those first few months. But um, he is really good. He doesn't poop on me anymore when I get him out, uh, which is always a positive. Um, and he definitely doesn't mind handling nearly as much, so that's good. But yeah, the new tank will fill up this entire space. So you can see it'd be a massive upgrade to this. However, something else is happening. This is the second announcement. We're currently looking for a new house. And one of the things in the new house is I want a bigger reptile room. Um, because Bruce, which we'll see in a moment, will eventually need a six or eight foot tank. And this room, one downside to it is obviously we can fit the tanks in and this is gonna fit in perfectly. There's not really any storage. And so it gets messy sometimes when I have to get stuff out. It's not somewhere you can really move around and make stuff. And yeah, it, it, I just want more room. And so he will be getting a new tank. I'm not sure when it's arriving because it's come from Custom Reptile Habitats in America. But if it comes before we move, I can set it up. If it comes just, like as we're moving then i might have to set it up in the new home but it's still early days like we haven't even found anything we like so likely we will set it up here as i mentioned we have bruce so this is bruce's tank he's obviously a growing blue tongue skink so he, as i said he'll eventually need a bigger tank but overall the everything's grown really well in here some of the crotons haven't done so well because they're under the heat and that gets really intense uh, but certainly the ferns are, and the spider plant are all doing well one issue i've had in here is tons of i don't know if they're flies or fungus gnats but we do have a resident spider that i've noticed i don't know if you're going to be able to see but there's some webbing in here and honestly i'm not kicking him out because he needs to catch the flies i am happy to have a spider in here but yeah overall bruce is doing well he's growing well he has a very varied diet which is ideal for blue tongue skinks i must admit i will not be feeding him cat or dog food i know it's recommended a lot but it just does not seem natural at all uh, but what he does have is he's had a snail which you might be able to see some shells on the floor um, he has omni gold a lot of the time so I will sometimes mix in a bit of carrot or blueberry or squash just something you know so it's almost like he gets omni gold but he gets a little something else with it um, but he really likes that he also has locusts he loves locusts he won't touch crickets because they're a bit too quick for him uh, he's had the occasional morio worm um, but I will say in comparison to a pink tongue skink, blue tongues are a little easier to feed just because they will eat pretty much everything. Next we have Drogo and he's actually down here which is very unusual for Drogo. Obviously he's got all up here, he's got a massive cork hide there, some cork hides in the wall and some places to climb however. Um, I took out this big umbrella tree that was here and because it blocked out so much light, the plant kept dying at the top because there weren't enough space. And so I thought loads of other things will grow now, but only the pothos did. But another thing I made a mistake of is I made the substrate come right up to here. So every time I water the tank, there's a mudslide and you have to do it very, like a little bit at a time. So it soaks in. So oh, I really want to upgrade his tank. Ideally, if I do do it, because I did upgrade Lyra's, but I kind of wish I went bigger. So in the future, I would love to go with maybe a 90 centimeter tall tank or a taller and wider tank for Lyra and Drogo um, because I think they would totally use it and it will give me time to redo all of this and maybe provide more room for plants to grow. Um, but yeah, like Drogo, he's a cool gecko. He isn't, I would say he isn't as personable as some of my others. So the leopard geckos will come up to me, Lyra will come up to me, uh, Dro uh, Rex and Bruce still getting used to me, but Drogo after all these years, I think if you just left him to his own devices, he'd be happy. Um, he is a really interesting gecko to watch, like he will go after insects, he loves insects, and obviously the pre-made diets like Pangea, Sticky Foot Gold, um, but he, he kind of keeps to himself. 
Then we have Lyra, my evening buddy. She's just down here. She comes and greets me every night. And since I put this mushroom legend, so we actually make these, the bearded shrimp. Um, and whenever I make something, I like to test it out with my own animals if I can. And so with this one, I was like, okay, I'm gonna put it in Lyra's tank. She doesn't have anything on her window every night. She comes and sits on there and then like I take her out, let her roam and stuff like that. And it's so sweet. I've got some great shots from her being on that. Um, and she's just, oh, I love crested geckos. Her tank is growing well. As you can see, she, her prayer plants got massive. We've got pothos spreading. The snake plants are doing well. She finally discovered this snake plant and loves to sleep in it once again like with drogo i kind of wish i went bigger with a tank so maybe as i said if we have more room in the new place that would be something to aim for but overall she's doing really well um eating insects eating pangea eating sticky foot gold all good so that was the update on all the geckos i feel like i haven't done one in absolutely ages but i thought it'd be cool to go around and see each one Obviously things are happening now so if someone buys a house and we find a house and then I disappear for a while you know things are going on and I also have two other jobs so <laughs> I'm a busy lady um, so if the video is kind of here and there you sort of know why but I'll still try to upload reels and regular videos so make sure you are subscribed but I hope you've enjoyed today's video thanks for watching and goodbye.